The runaway black hole in ARP 220 a cosmic dance the James Webb Space Telescope has once again taken humanity to the edge of the unknown. This revolutionary instrument, launched to explore the earliest galaxies of the universe, has gone beyond every expectation. Not long ago, Webb stunned astronomers when it detected the oldest galaxy ever discovered, a system of stars shining from the very dawn of time. But now, Webb has revealed something even more astonishing, something that defies all logic. A colossal runaway black hole has been spotted, hurtling away from its home galaxy at a breathtaking speed of nearly 4 million miles per hour. Imagine an object with gravity so powerful that not even light can escape, yet this very object is not anchored, but racing through the cosmos, leaving astronomers both shocked and fascinated. The implications of this discovery are enormous. It has ignited intense debates among scientists, and it has captured the imagination of millions of space enthusiasts who follow every update from Webb. Traditionally, black holes are seen as cosmic monsters, swallowing stars, devouring gas clouds, and leaving behind nothing but emptiness. But this discovery tells a very different story. As this black hole races through intergalactic space, it collides with vast clouds of gas. Instead of consuming everything, it compresses and cools the gas so rapidly that new stars are born in its wake. Trailing behind the black hole is a glowing streak of starlight, stretching for nearly 200,000 light years, longer than the diameter of our Milky Way. This is not a trail of destruction. It is a cosmic nursery, a pathway of newborn suns illuminating the darkness. Professor Peter B. and his team of astronomers reported this groundbreaking discovery in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. NASA later confirmed these findings, calling it a glimpse into a completely new kind of cosmic behavior. Scientists now believe this may only be the beginning. Webb may uncover more runaway black holes, each with the power to reshape our understanding of how stars and galaxies are formed. And if that were not enough, Webb also turned its gaze toward one of the most brilliant galactic collisions ever observed, ARP-220. Located about 250 million light-years away in the constellation Serpens, ARP-220 is one of the closest and brightest examples of a galactic merger. This system is so radiant that it outshines the entire Milky Way by more than 100 times. Some 700 million years ago, Two massive spiral galaxies collided in a cataclysm of unimaginable scale. The collision unleashed a storm of star formation, creating thousands of young stars at once. Today, ARP-220 holds over 200 enormous star clusters, all packed into a region only 5,000 light-years wide, so dense that it contains as much gas as the Milky Way itself. Webb's infrared vision pierced through the dust to reveal the details of this violent cosmic dance. Two galactic cores lie just 1,200 light-years apart, each with rotating rings where new stars are forming at astonishing rates. The merger's tidal tails, long streams of matter pulled into space, stretch outward like scars of a titanic battle. This is not just a picture of destruction, but of rebirth. It is the universe showing us how galaxies collide, merge, and give rise to something entirely new. With runaway black holes carving trails of stars and galaxies colliding in bursts of brilliance, Webb has shown us a cosmos that is not still, but alive, constantly in motion. Galaxies from the dawn of time and the new cosmic puzzle as breathtaking as runaway black holes and galactic mergers may be, Webb's most profound revelations reach even further, back to the earliest dawn of creation. The telescope has captured the light of primordial galaxies, formed only 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. Think about it. These galaxies were born when the universe was still a child, when stars were just beginning to ignite in the vast cosmic darkness. The light from them has been traveling for 13.5 billion years, crossing the silent ocean of space to finally reach Webb's golden mirrors. It is not just light, it is history, carrying a story from the very edge of time itself. At first, scientists were skeptical. Could these faint glimmers truly be ancient galaxies, or were they simply nearby objects masquerading as older ones due to unusual light signatures? But Webb's spectroscopic instruments, capable of breaking light into its most precise fingerprints, removed all doubt. The evidence was undeniable. 
These were indeed galaxies from the infancy of the universe. And yet, what Webb revealed next was even more shocking. These galaxies were not the small, primitive clumps of stars astronomers expected. Instead, many of them were already immense, complex, and surprisingly mature. Some were as large as, or even larger than, the Milky Way. A fact that should have been impossible according to traditional models of cosmic evolution. How could such giants exist so soon after the Big Bang? Theories had long claimed that galaxies needed billions of years to grow into structures of this scale. But Webb has shown us galaxies that appear fully formed only a few hundred million years after time itself began. This discovery has shaken the very foundations of cosmology. It forces scientists to question whether our current models of galaxy formation are incomplete, or whether we may need to rethink the Big Bang timeline itself. Renowned physicist Michio Kaku summed up the shock in the scientific community, saying, Finding massive galaxies so soon after the Big Bang challenges everything we thought we knew about cosmic creation. But the surprises did not end there. Webb also uncovered a young galaxy cluster dating back just 650 million years after the Big Bang. Though still in its infancy, this cluster may eventually evolve into a massive structure like today's coma cluster, which dominates a large portion of our nearby universe. The existence of this cluster suggests something profound. Not only were galaxies forming rapidly, they were also gathering together into colossal webs of matter much earlier than anyone had ever imagined. Each new discovery web delivers throws established science into question. Could there be unknown processes fueling this rapid galactic growth? Are there forces in the early cosmos still hidden from our understanding? Or must we accept the possibility that our entire model of the universe's beginning may need revision? The James Webb Space Telescope is far more than a machine orbiting in space. It is a cosmic time machine giving us the power to look directly into the earliest chapters of existence. With its unmatched infrared sensitivity, Webb peers beyond Hubble's reach. It reveals galaxies in their infancy, stars being born, and black holes that behave in ways we never dreamed possible. Each image it sends back is more than a picture. It is a message from the universe itself, whispering secrets of how everything we see today once began. How did galaxies assemble so quickly in such a short cosmic span? Why do some black holes nurture star birth instead of consuming everything in their path? What hidden roles do dark matter and dark energy play in shaping the structure of the cosmos? Though answers remain uncertain, one truth is now undeniable. The James Webb Space Telescope is rewriting the story of the universe. Its discoveries have reignited humanity's passion for exploration inspired countless dreamers and scientists, and reminded us of a timeless truth. The cosmos is not a finished story. It is a living mystery, and Webb is the instrument pulling back the curtain, one discovery at a time. As Webb continues its mission, humanity stands on the threshold of new understanding. Each revelation will not only challenge what we know, but may one day transform our entire view of reality itself. And so, our journey continues, 